Hey guys, this is the Wurbin X1 and just what a great light it is. So you've got three Crete XHP 70.2 LEDs. I measured 5,700 Kelvin. A uh, nice textured reflector on this and it produces such a nice beam on it. There is a tint shift from the LED but that is quite normal with this uh, particular one. Uh, and so you've got uh, a white hotspot, a yellow corona, um, and then sort of a purple uh, hue tint uh, to this to the spill um, and uh, something that I noticed more inside than outside uh, so I don't uh, consider it to be an issue at all um, so you've got uh, it's rated at 12,000 lumens with a range of 303 meters uh, it fell short of the lumen um, spec I measured just under uh, 9,000 lumens at 30 seconds. The 12,000 lumen rating is meant to be at 30 seconds also. Um, but I did uh, achieve over the range spec and that's uh, uh, good. Uh, something I probably care about more than the lumens um, for me. Um, it was able to sustain 2,700 lumens which is just unreal for the size of the light. Uh, really, when you look at um, like the Astrolux ECO6 here, this is only able to sustain like 1,500 lumens. Um, and the, the size of them is just uh, such a big difference. Uh, it's just so much smaller. Uh, and so it's uh, I'm really, really happy with it. Uh, so... For, you've got a fan on the side here, you've got a heat sink on this side and so you can really feel when that fan gets going that it's a night, like it's really doing its job. You feel that warm air really being pushed through and uh, but uh, it's uh, quite a quiet noise from the fan. Um, and but like the fan is you can't submerge this light it's just rainproof for that fan but that's um that's okay and so you've got to switch on the top here battery status indicator and it uh, good feel to the switch usb-c charging no power bank function on this model um, but i've never personally used it from a flashlight before uh, nice construction on this. I uh, like good build quality and uh, you know, it's smooth anodizing on here, but I probably due to the shape of it, it's, it has not been slippery, nothing. It's been fine. Uh, I do like that everything can kind of be taken apart on this by undoing screws so you can switch out this button. Um, and if anything, I guess, got lodged in there into the heatsink area, you can take this apart and, and get that out, replace the fan. Uh, of course, probably would avoid warranty taking, you know, parts of it off, but at least you can do that uh, yourself. Um, two 21700 batteries built in, uh, but after the warranty um, has passed, you can unscrew this back plate here and remove those batteries um, and so it's really good to be able to do that uh, one thing to be careful of is that there's two batteries in series and so uh, the x1 doesn't have a balancing circuit charge uh, balancing charge circuit uh, and so you, it's not making sure those batteries are of equal voltage uh, and so when you put new ones in, you just need to make sure they're brand new, they're good quality, something like the Molly Cell or Samsung or LG. And uh, you got to make sure the voltage before you put them in is equal among, you know, across both of them. Very important. Otherwise, over time, you know, they can get more unmatched and unbalanced and you just don't want one to be overcharging. Um, or undercharging when it uh, shuts off. So it's just something to think about, make sure of uh, down the line. 
Um, so the the UI on this is uh, is very simple. So hold from off gets to your eco level. Uh, hold uh, again goes through low, medium, high, and then back to eco. Double press for turbo. Double press again drops you back down. One click will always turn the light off and on. So that is uh, that's good. A lot of brands mess that up. Uh, they'll have one press will drop you back down to a previous level and then one tap again will turn it off. And it's just much simpler to always have it um, doing the same thing. Uh, so triple press strobe and then triple press again is the SOS. And uh, while you're on like eco, low, medium and high, you're able to adjust the brightness. Uh, so you can cut, it offers a bit of customization on this. So on eco, you get uh, from 20 to 400 lumens. On low, it's 400 to 1000 lumens. Medium is 1000 to 2000. High is 2000 to 3000. So you can adjust those levels. So you do, you'll do a double press and a hold. Um, and then it will then it will start to increase, adjust and brightness up to the highest point and it will flash and then it will start to decrease in brightness and when it gets to the lowest point it will flash and then it will just keep going up and down and loop looping over and over till you release the switch as to where you want it to be so double, we're on eco at the moment so double press and hold Yep, and then uh, if you make a mess of those settings, you're, ab you're able to do a factory reset. Uh, so four clicks will get you into lockout. So one, two, three, four. And then uh, to factory reset, it will be one press. Uh, and then so one press um, and then wait for half a second, two presses, wait, and then three presses. So one, one, two, one, two, three. And now that's reset uh so yeah there's absolutely no negatives about this light that i can think of uh, apart from that balancing um charge circuit that's that's it uh like uh a couple of things i probably would have enjoyed would be the eco level would be, could be reduced all the way down to one lumen uh that would have been an awesome adjustment there um uh, and then have like a turbo mode that could be adjusted. I mean, to have full customization, that would be awesome. Um, it really would because not often do you want the full turbo output. You may just want just a little bit more and be happy with that before, like for the much longer duration of that level. Um, especially with the fan. To assist, you could get like 6,000 lumens for five minutes instead of 12,000 lumens for a minute. Um, so, yeah, that's just some, something a lot of uh, companies miss. Uh, they always feel like you need to have twice the brightness on the turbo output uh, because you, you need t three to four times the lumen um, measurement um for something to look twice as bright and you don't always don't always need that um but on like on high i could see up to like 70 80 meters and that was just plenty for going for a walk uh for most things i just i just thought it was great you just everything out the front of you is lit up your peripheral vision just everything that you can see is uh just full of light it's just such a nice wide beam you don't have to be turning your head too much to see um, anything so it's really good the like the 2000 lumen sustainable output that I mentioned was at the 3000 lumens on the high level so by default it ships at 2600 I know I saw that nobody had run a test like one lumen just did a runtime test on the default high of 2600 so I wanted to do something a bit different and increase that to the 3000 lumen limit and uh, to get to 2,700 lumens for an hour and a half is uh, pretty impressive. Um, so very happy with that. Uh, probably one suggestion for Wuben, I would have really loved 
a pocket clip or a belt clip to be included because you've got two little holes here and that's for an optional bike mount um, uh, that you can get uh, and because uh, like out on the farm um, this is like a bit bigger than the lights that I would usually carry and if I'm wanting to carry out a task hands-free um, I can't just put this in my mouth and hold it um, for some lighting I, I would have to put it down somewhere and I can't really do that out on the farm there might not be a place that I can rest it on um, there might not be like I can't put it on the ground it could be quite muddy um, and I don't want to put it in my pocket and turn it off or put it in the holster and turn it off I still want some form of light and so I just, just thought multiple times that it would have been so handy for me just to hang it off my pocket or my belt and just have just a bit of lighting there um, but it does come with a lanyard and um, and you could have that on your wrist but I actually found I tried that and I was just like man this is just getting in the way I just want to have um, I just want to be able to work without having something dangling off my wrist I just didn't like it uh, a clip would have been so much better um, but it doesn't really take anything away from the light I would highly recommend it um, yeah just just such a great flashlight but uh, yeah I hope this was helpful to you guys and as always thank you for watching Thank you.